so much for being careful. Good for an old remedy.
won't waste this. They're stamp in this place. Folks in the clan have no idea what it's like in Meridian. They think we're living like savages. Can you aside? Well, well. Always told Durval a woman would undo him, and he had it coming. <laughs> I've calluses older than you. I've calluses enough if you want to test me. <laughs> she sparks. I believe it, Flame Hair. Petra Forge woman. Uh, Aloy. Machine hunter. Hmm, machine hunter, eh? Huh. I could have a use for you. Straight of it is, we're being muscled out of our own claim. That's why I've been working on this scrap-spitting beast. It's a dispute settler. What is this place, Petra? The Free Heap. Free because we answer to no one but ourselves, the metal, and the dust storms. And the heaps back there. A scrapyard piled by Osram past from the leavings of the old ones. Breathe it in. Get the smell in you. Smoke. And sweat. <sighs> Living in the trees has dulled your senses. I could taste five metals just in my spit. So all this scrap was left by the ancients. Was it a battlefield? Hmm, stockpile maybe, or a rubbish heap. Packed so tight it all fused together. Those old ones tossed away more than we'll ever know. But don't you want to know? To understand what it all meant? Nah, some delvers spend their whole lives trying to make sense of it. Not me. What it means is, there's good smelting here. Yeah, don't need to understand a forest to chop down the trees for your arrows. If you did, you'd know Ridgewood makes better shafts. <laughs> Careful, you'll scald your tongue with that fire. I don't pine for the old ones. They had their time, their works are finished. All their inventions are under mountains now, rust on bones. My sisters and brothers of the Forge will make a new world. So you're a Forge woman? You run the forge and the town, too. The town is the forge, and everyone pulls their weight. The right way to do it, without all the Eeldermen having their say. If we were back in the claim, Osram land, three days argument, anytime someone wants to hammer in a bolt. Sounds infuriating. Oh, <laughs> it is. But we like arguing. You need hot air to keep a furnace burning. Still, some traditions aren't up for debate. I would have ended up Petra Forge wife. <laughs> How do you like the sound of that? <laughs> I don't think it fits you. Good answer. That's why I left. I was steel young from the forge then. Could make anything of myself before I'd cooled in my ways. So you left your homeland and came here? Went to Meridian. Everyone does. Joined the work gangs on the Great Elevator. We finished just as the Mad King got a taste for blood. So I spat and swore I'd find a place for everyone who stuck with me. We lived job to job until the war ended. Then we came upon this old Osram camp. Long abandoned, metal piled up high. A place to start again. 
place to leave my mark. <laughs> when I was your age, I thought the lasting mark came from the hardest strike. I suppose you know better now that you're an elder. <laughs> Trade secret. This weapon you're working on, I've never seen anything like it. Your design? Mm, see my face in it, can you? This one's mother helped reclaim Meridian back in the day. A job like that isn't done with strategy. They needed to shake the walls, turn the mad Sun King's army to blood and feathers. What's that face for? Weapons with such power. It's not the weapon, Flamehair, it's the wielder. If that siege had touched the Great Elevator, they'd have answered to me. Good work, that elevator. Story in every chain link. I'll make you suffer them one day if you like. This beast doesn't have a story yet. Too heavy to carry, eats metal like a snap maw. You said you're being pushed out of your territory. Out of the junk heap. A pack of scrappers came snuffling in just after we opened a good seam of weapon parts. And now we've got a standoff with a gang of bandits at our foundry. They blockaded us out. They're sitting on our power cells. Guess they like shiny things. Well, to finish up our defenses, I need those parts and cells. In and out job. Keep your hands clean. I'm not afraid of getting them dirty. <laughs> Aren't you a blast of air from the bellows? Fascinating if they weren't looking for me. nearly skewered me. <sighs> Bandits have a good defense. Better spot all their sentries before I look for the power cells. Big trouble! Let's 
soon. Coming for us. I see something. Now to get into the scrapper's run and find those weapon parts. You'll get yours when the clan blows in. Town's good as torched.
Lots of scrappers prowling. Hope they haven't stripped the parts already. Scrappers made that pile. Strange. Are they nesting? Let me find something Petra can use. Fast. Fine. I've been in the scrapyard long enough. They're scanning for me. Petra, I have the parts you wanted, but there are more bandits coming. The rest of their clan. They want to take the town. Do they now? Hold this thing steady while I give it a voice. Then we'll let it talk terms for us. Now take it up and brace yourself. Don't press it against your hips if you ever want to use those for... All right, all right, I got it. Ugh, heavy. All I can do to hold it up. Ugh. 
Come on, then, if you're coming! Run this forged dirt town red, boys! Heh, <laughs> manners. <laughs> She's working well so far. Room for improvement on the gun. No complaints about the gunner. Anyone but a bandit clan would pull back now. Come on, you bungheads! They only have one cannon! Aloy, bring it down on him. What? It's your bridge. Bridges come and go. Shoot it down. Oh boy. Whoa! <gasps> Might have overdone it a little. Now I'm no soldier, but I'd call that a rout. Oh, my teeth hurt from all that. That's interesting. Need a leather strap to bite down on, perhaps. We'll give those wretches a sky burial. That's fancy talk for leaving them out for the birds. More than they'd have done for us if this thing didn't work. Uh, if it didn't work? It could have not worked? It isn't finished. That's why we're testing it. Now, now, you had your Nora toys to fight with. Saying goes, you can only trust metal. But my trust was placed well in you. You're owed, Aloy Machine Hunter. I won't forget it. <sighs> Neither will I, Petra. Whoa. Still feel the lightning snap in my hair. Are you looking for something? Can't see hide nor hair of my friends. They went after a herd of behemoths, and now they're overdue. Only seasoned hunters go after machines like that. Can't they handle themselves? It's not them I'm worried about. We need special cables from those behemoths to keep our cannons firing. If they miss the herd, Petra will hand me my hide. I never should have agreed to that trade. What trade did you agree to? Petra assigned me and Belagia the task of getting cables from that herd. But Tor Grease and Belagia are meant for each other. Like hammer and steel. They just don't realize it. So I agreed to trade duties with him to, you know, hurry things along. Didn't Belagia wonder why? It was her idea. Now I'm worried it worked too well. If they're so busy snogging that they missed the herd, it'll be my skin on the line. Where did you last see them? Right here, before they left. Off they went, arguing the whole way. What were they arguing about? How best to follow the herd. Sure, Grease is good with a bow, but he could get lost in his own home. What have I done? Why not explain what happened to Petra? If you want to tell Petra, be my guest. Maybe she'll blow her top at you and tire herself out before she gets to me. I would run off in search of them, but since Jor Grease took my place, I have his spot on guard duty. I can look for your friends. Where have they gone? They were headed to the Arch, northwest of here, to watch for the herd. I hope they've found their way there. If we miss that herd, we won't be able to keep our cannons firing. I'll throw myself into this fire if I've risked our freedom. 
Let's keep that as a last resort. I'll do what I can. Always so pale. A few minutes at the forge, the heat'll put some color in your cheeks. I don't need a forge for that. Rushing into the wilds should do it. Mmm, what's lit your fire this time? I can handle it. No doubt you can, but if it involves free heap, I need to hear about it. You sent two hunters after a herd. They've gone missing. Well, they couldn't have. Caleb could find a needle in a slag heap. Unless he didn't go. Careless, two-fisted smelter. What'd he do? Traded places with Jagri's. By fire and spit! What are you gonna do about this trade? Waste of Caliph's time and mine. Jagri's and Baladia didn't need his push. They're bound together. Just like in the forge. You let the weight of the hammer do the work, not the arm. Never figured Caliph for a tender sort. <laughs> You're not angry? Oh, I'll make him sweat it. But one thing I've learned, some things will happen no matter what you do. Why did you need behemoth cables from that herd? Those cables make the best fuses for our cannons. Even so, they wear out fast and we always need more. Our guns keep us strong and free. Without them, we're easy scrap for bandits and machines. You could trade for them. Some supplies we need to get on our own, or we're dependent on others. That's a burden we won't bear. But you asked me for help. <laughs> Some burdens are welcome. Why the urgency with this herd? Once that herd hits the cauldron, it'll be out of our reach, and another won't come for a long while. We need those cables, and we've got to take them now. If you find those two, send them back in one piece. If you bring me behemoth cables while you're at it, I'd be beholden to you. Careful. It could become a habit. for the trail. Can't be too prepared.
got us this far. You had us wandering for hours. Two hunters arguing. That's because Just I couldn't concentrate for. with you hammering on. You kept asking me questions. When did I start smithing? Had I ever seen the elevator at Meridian? If Caleb had been here, we'd have found the herd. Someone's coming. Are you Jaw Grease and Balaja? Caleb sent me to look for you. He did? Now Petra must know we lost the herd. No, I lost it. I don't care who lost it. Just why don't I track it down for you? I couldn't let you do that. It was my responsibility, not yours or his. We saw three behemoths and some shell walkers in the herd. It won't be easy alone. I can sneak up on the herd better without conversation. Arguing, you mean. I'll go with you alone. Jorgris can ask his incessant questions to the wind. Why did you even agree to the trade if you can't stand a minute of my presence? If you weren't- Enough! Jagris, Balaja asked you to switch with Caleb so she could spend time with you. What? And if I heard right, Jagris led you off course so he could spend more time talking with you. Uh, really? Now you talk it out while I get those behemoth cables. Where did you last see the herd? Oh, uh, up on that ridge. And take some arrows with you. <sighs> Thanks. Got it. So they last saw the convoy here, huh?
Snow haze. White as bone. <laughs> that thought got dark. Where were they going? They must have wanted to follow the river. I hear them now.
This might even the odds. That was worth it. You've got those behemoth cables, don't you? I knew you'd come through. And Jagri's and Baladia should be along. Eventually. Mmm, we've been expecting you ever since they came back. Whatever you did, it worked. Now they're off snogging in the shed. Finally. She put me on guard duty for a month, so I'm glad it was worth it. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I see you survived their bickering. Uh, barely. I could say they struggle in love because they're young, but the old rarely fare better. Thank you, Aloy, for enduring them. 